Well, uh, witnesses continue to appear at the Truth Reconciliation and Reparation Commission with former Chief of Defense Staff Babakar Jata testifying today. Jata, who was the CDS during the November 11, 1994 failed coup, which resulted in the massacre of some dozen military personnel. Joining us from the TRRC headquarters is our reporter Sajo Samu. We first ask him, Sajo, can you please tell us about Jata's testimony today? Yes, uh, thank you very much, Alassane. Uh, once again, I uh, welcome you to the TRRC headquarters here in the uh, Kololi. Uh, today, we have the former CDS of the Gambia Armed Forces, uh, Brigadier General uh, Babu Karajata, who testified against here at the TRRC in what happened to be the 22 years of the Jame regime. According to Babukar in his testimony, uh, the training organized by the um, then Secretary of State, uh, Sahar, uh, w was the first step or was the cause of the uh, platform of 22nd July uh, coup d'etat plan. According to Jada, uh, this came when uh, there were poor conditions of living, food, uh, water, transportation, Training organized by the led by the Nigerian uh, commander Babu Kardada, uh, Brigadier General Babu Kardada, who led that training in the uh, URR in Kudang. Uh, this w this is where some junior officers like uh, second second lieutenants uh, who sat together and uh, formed this uh, coup d'état uh, to be executed uh, within uh, some a couple of months which uh, the, the, the senior people didn't get to know about it until the very day of the coup d'etat when they come to realize that, yes, this coup d'etat was uh, formed uh, when the training was held in Kodang. Well, uh, in his testimony, did he in any way mention his involvement in the 1994 uh, 11 November fail uh, uh, attempt coup? Yes, uh, Babukar said on the 22nd uh, July he was in fact not well. He went to the clinic, that's their own clinic at the Yundum Barracks, uh, to check on what he suspected was uh, malaria uh, trying to overcome him. Uh, to his surprise, he was uh, tested positive malaria and he was given a week, uh, uh, a week uh, long rest uh, to rest and not to go to work. But he said he has a commander who he should relate this. Then already Babukar, uh, Colonel, then Brigadier General Babukar Dad has already left the co uh, country and Colonel Lawal Gu 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 Guadabel is already in town. So he was heading to Banjun uh, on that 22nd July to uh, take permission and show him the uh, medication uh, uh, script they give him that he should have a, an ED of not coming to work for a week. But on his arrival to the uh, Denton Bridge, he saw the, there were some commotions at the uh, Denton Bridge with the Zandermori blocking the way. He tried to inquire what what happened. They told him that uh, this is uh, a coup d'etat in the making. So he left. He immediately uh, left back to the Fajara barracks to so talk to uh, Colonel uh, Lawal Guadabel about it. But uh, Guadabel uh, was... Uh, seemingly not happy to see him on his house, so he has to send him on an errand, like sending him, sending him home. The following day, he had to that very day he had to make his way to Bantun at the state house, uh, and then uh, that's where everything started because where Edward had to call him and say, um, "You, uh, Babu Karjata, you have to be now. You have to occupy the minister, the office of the admin, admin uh, uh, responsible for logistics." He told him that already have occupied that place with the current security advisor to the president, uh, this Momodo Baji, has already uh, assigned me to take charge of that office, which I took. So Edward told him that, uh, okay, your first job is to um, make sure and help the Nigerians leave this country at all means, all, all, all necessary means to be done. You have to do that. So which he successfully did. After which, then uh, there was uh, a commander in place uh, who they removed, and then they made him the uh, gay CDS of the Gambian National Army. This is where Babukar said he has to uh, throw the towel away and be loyal and pay loyalty uh, to the uh, uh, junta's in order to secure his job, as everybody was looking to the central government to make a living. Yes, uh, he also clearly said he was not part of the coup plot, but did he mention how he got involved in it? 
he got involved in it when he was um, uh, announced to be the CDS of this of the Gambia National Army. From where he has to go on errands with uh, Sana Sabali. First, they had to, uh, you know, Sana Sabali has to put him in a corner and then sue him and show him a list uh, containing of names to be executed when the 20, 20, uh, November 11th uh, coup d'etat is succeeded. This is where he, his name was also involved in that list that uh, to, be the, uh, to be among the people to be executed when Basiru and Ku succeed in the, in, the, in, the, in the coup d'etat, November 11th coup d'etat. So he approached uh, Basiru to ask him why. But all he could get from Basiru was like, Basiru was like already being tortured with his mouth, flooding with blood. He only had to tell him, help me. So Sana, Sana Sabali had to uh, knock his mouth with a point, pushing him back to the cell, pushing, uh, knocking uh, Basiru Baro back to the cell. So uh, Basiru, he was taken round to Fajara there where they began, first they begin from arresting inside the, uh, the Yudum barracks, then head for Fajara uh, to complete some of the elements. He said, "This is where he uh, he has to. Start, he started getting involved into the coup uh, d'état uh, on a purpose of securing his job and then earning a food on the on the on the table of his family. This is why he has to pay loyalty to the industry." Well, thank you very much, Sajid Sambu. Uh, well, that was uh, Sajid Sambu there on the at uh, uh, the at uh, the TRRC and on the ongoing testimony of the then CDS uh, Babu Karjata uh, in 1995.